Hey coin collectors, welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We're looking at three 1980 Washington quarters here from the United States of America. This one up at the top, you see it's from Philadelphia. This one here is from San Francisco. And this one over here is from Denver. If we're looking for mint marks, 1980, the first year of the P mint mark on the United States quarters. There's the S mint mark. There's the D mint mark, and that's a filled D, and this is a uncirculated coin with a full, filled D from 1980. And then this is the P mint mark. So in 1980, the first year of the Philadelphia mint mark on the U.S. quarters. And I'm going to show you some coins that all have something to do with what we're talking about today. So let's move these ones out of the way. Let me show you these. Here's one of them. This has something to do with what we're talking about today. Here's another one right here. 1932, the original Washington Quarter. Here's one here. It's a nickel. And some of you might know this is a war nickel. This one here. This is the first year of the clad coins. But there's also something else about this coin. This one here is the closest we know. It's 1979, the year before. This one here is a Susan B. Anthony, also from 1979, another Philadelphia from the year before. This one here, which is a Morgan dollar. This is the back of the Morgan dollar. But what we're going to look at is this thing right here, the mint mark. And then finally, this one right here, another Morgan dollar and another mint mark. So what are we talking about here? Well, the Philadelphia mint never until 1979, with one exception, put a P on any of their coins. So this coin right here is from 1887. This is an O for the New Orleans Mint. This one here is from 1880. And this is a CC for the Carson City Mint. But if we look at this Morgan dollar from 1889, we'll notice there's something quite different about it down here at the bottom, and that is that there is no mint mark here. Nothing. That's because Philadelphia was the first mint ever in the United States, and Philadelphia, because they, they were the first mint, didn't have to put a mint mark on any of their coins. There's been a bunch of different mints in the United States since the U.S. started making its own coins. There's been the Philadelphia mint, the Denver mint, which has a D, the San Francisco mint, which has the S that we saw, Carson City, New Orleans has an O, Charlotte, North Carolina had a C on it, but they stopped at the beginning of the Civil War. West Point, we'll take a look at a West Point one with a W on it. And then there was another D before Denver, and that was for Dahlonega, Georgia. But Dahlonega, Georgia, again, in the Civil War, they stopped making U.S. coins at the Georgia Mint and at the New Orleans Mint. Let's look at, take a look back through some of those other coins. Here's the 1932, the first year of the Washington Quarter. And we'll notice there's no mint mark on the front for Philadelphia or anywhere else because the mint marks then were on the back. But there's no mint mark on the back either. No P for Philadelphia because Philadelphia didn't have a mint mark. Did anybody else have a mint mark? Yeah. Uh, here's the 1932 and it's a Denver mint mark and you see there's a D down there. Next on our list was this coin and this is the one exception. This is the nickel from 1943. The only coin prior to 1980 that ever had a P on it that I'm aware of. The 1943 nickel, they wanted to make sure everybody knew it was silver and so they put mint marks on the top of the back of these. It was a P, a D, and an S. And this was for 1942, 43, 44 and 45, at least most of 1942. So there were, there was at one point a P on a U.S. coin for Philadelphia, but that was only from 42 to 45. We got to 1965 when they took all the mint marks off all of the coins. So in 1965, no mint marks on coins. Even though they made quarters in other coins at Denver and San Francisco, no mint marks on anything. They brought the mint marks back in 1968, but still no Philadelphia mint marks. In 1979, here's the Philadelphia coin. The year before the 1980 that we're looking at, no mint mark on this coin, front, back, middle. Philadelphia did not have mint marks in 1979. And then this coin came along. 
1979, they decided when they were making the Susan B. Anthony dollars to put the P on here. So P for Philadelphia for Susan B. Anthony dollars. And then they started thinking, well, people are starting to collect them a little bit more. We're putting all the different mint marks in the mint sets. So why don't we have separate mint sets that kind of split up a little bit sometimes for the P and the D and the S. And that's what they decided to do. So in 1980, they said, okay, now, I also said there was one other one we're going to look at. After 1980, they decided, 1984, to open up the West Point Mint, just for making coins, not for putting letters on. But then, a couple times since then, and this is in 1996, they actually put the W on the coin for the West Point Mint, and they've done it again since then. So, well, this is DC saying, thanks for watching the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments you have in the comments section.